Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. Now I must stress that this one is just a bit of fun. Um, I threatened to do this in one of my past videos and funny enough I was watching a, a couple of the uh, Toya and Robert Fripp Sunday lunch videos on YouTube and one of them that they did was which uh, has the most cultural significance King Crimson or Toya and it was a bit of a face off and it was hilarious and I'm going to link that short video below so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a face off between King Crimson's in the Court of the Crimson King which is this album here and Toya's in the Court of the Crimson Queen which is this album here now um, I only acquired this one here about two years ago and I played it a couple of times and I actually quite enjoyed it but I haven't played it since so over the past week or so I've been playing this quite a bit and I'm actually really impressed with it um, so overall I think I've played this about eight or nine times um, it's the same with the toy album it's a recent acquisition and I've played it about eight or nine times so what I'll do is I'll go through each album and then I'll ask seven questions and who and there will be a point for each answer. And whoever gets the most points wins. So first of all, in the court of the Crimson King, 1969, King Crimson. Um, this is a prog rock classic. It's regarded as a prog rock classic. And there's five songs on it. Now the first one is uh, 21st century schizoid man which is an absolutely great song with a fantastic riff and really good like vocabulary type vocals which i absolutely love and then it goes into the pro rock guitar noodling which is not so bad it's okay but um, funny enough toya does a version of this with her band the humans and it's really really good as well but this is the first song is really really strong now the next two songs i talk to the wind and epitaph to me, or to these ears here, they just sound exactly like the Moody Blues in 1969 and both songs could have been lifted off the To Our Children's Children's Children album and they are both very acoustic -y with some flute in it and even Greg Lake's vocals, which I think it's Greg Lake singing sounds exactly like Justin Hayward, but I really do like those two songs we flip over and the first song on side two is Moonchild which I'm not going to talk about because it's one of the questions and then the last song is the title track in the court of the Crimson King which I think is another Moody Blues S type song and it is really really enjoyable so in court of the Crimson Queen was first released in 2008 and it wasn't this cover this is a reissue this is the cover here that uh, first came out. Now this, as I said, has been reissued and the track listing is slightly different. Um, there is uh, a new song called Dance in the Hurricane which opens this up, which it didn't open up the original. And if you bought the CD there's an extra four tracks as well with a slightly different running order. But this is the one I have, so this is the one I'll go with and this was the 2019 record store day version yeah this is a, like a rock album whereas the other one's a prog album um, but this has got quite a few different styles as well Dance in the Hurricane has got a very glammy opening to it which I think is really really good um, Angel and You has a very sort of stonesy riff rock Love Crazy is just a really great fast rock and roll almost rockabilly type number is very very good uh, Heal Ourselves is a big sort of a power ballad it's a little bit um, schmaltzy but it's not bad as is Legacy Come is a great song Hyperventilate is brilliant uh, Sensational was one of the singles and it is absolutely brilliant I really do like this album as well I really do like the both of them so which one will win so the first question is which album um, contains the best song and I am going to give it to this album here and I'm giving it to the song Epitaph the third song on side one very moody blues but it's absolutely brilliant and I do love the flutes and all in this it's 
you know, I, I do like Midi Blues in the late 60s, early 70s, so that's a big thumbs up for this one. So that's 1 0 to the King. The worst song on both albums. Now, this one here has a couple I'm not keen on. Um, Heal Ourselves, the ballad, I think it was maybe a little bit too bland and a little bit too generic as is Legacy. But they're not bad. But I have to give the worst song to Moonchild, which is the first song on side two. Now, it starts off okay. It's about 12 minutes long. Uh, it starts off alright, and then it goes into like um, an instrumental passage, which is very sort of laid back, and it's quite atmospheric. And then for the last seven minutes or so, it goes into this ridiculous diddly-dee, diddly-dee, diddly-dee and it just gets on my nerves and it would be okay if it lasted about 15 seconds but it lasts as I say 7 minutes it kind of reminds me of a Sherlock Holmes film with Basil Rathbone way back in the day The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes where he's fiddling with his uh, violin to try and get the pitch of a note so that the flies flying about cannot stand that pitch and will disappear from the room and the way Dr. Watson reacts to it is exactly how I react to this. I think it's dreadful, absolutely dreadful. So it's the worst song, so a point goes to the Queen. So that's one each. Third question is best cover art. Now I like both of them. As I say, this is not the original cover art, but this is absolutely beautiful with Toya sitting there. But if I have to be honest with myself, this is the best cover art. This is an iconic image, really, really striking, um, actually quite disturbing, but really, really good. The music inside doesn't reflect this cover, but still, um, that's one of the reasons I actually bought this album, because I knew the cover art so well. Never heard it. I've no other King Crimson albums, by the way, this is the only one I have. And um, yeah, iconic cover, so that's 2-1 to the King. The one with the most variety, well I think there's three Moody Blue songs on the uh, Court of the Crimson King, so I'm going to give it to this. It is a rock album, but there is quite a bit of different styles in this, so yeah, and it's very, very enjoyable. So, 2-2. Um, two, two. One with a better reputation, of course it has to go to this one. And it's this is regarded as a classic, and it is a classic. Although that Moonchild song destroys it for me because it's dreadful, but um, really good reputation. I don't know if this is regarded as their best. A lot of people say, or well, I've heard a lot of people say that Red is their best, but I haven't heard that. But yeah, this has got a good solid reputation. So that's three two to the King. The next question, and I got this from James Griffiths watching his video with Listography, where he had this phrase, um, he didn't get any rushes of pleasure from one of the CDs that he was reviewing. So which one has got the most rushes of pleasure for me? I thought that was a fantastic phrase. And it really does have to go to Toya. Um, I love the chorus to the single Sensational. I think it's magnificent. And I love the intro to Dance in the Hurricane, which is very glammy, but it's really, really good. Again, the drums on Love Crazy, which is just so upbeat. It's one of those rushes of pleasure. And even the sort of Stones-type guitar riff of Angel and You, I think is great. La, La, Latex Messiah, Viva La Rebel and You is just a fantastic song. And Hyperventilate and Badman as well really really good so I get more uh, oomph rushes of pleasure out of this than I do out of In the Court of the Crimson King but that's not saying it's a bad album it's just this one makes me sort of perk up a little bit more so that's 3-3 three, three. and the last question is if I had to only keep one album which one would I keep and why so this is the decider Doodle Doom who, what is it going to be well, I am. I would keep the Toy album. I think I do prefer it slightly, but the reason I would keep this is because I've got the whole of Toy's discography, and if I was to let this one go, there would be a huge gaping hole 
whereas I only have the one King Crimson album, so it doesn't affect me so much. But I do think I prefer this overall. It's more my type of music than King Crimson, even though I do really enjoy that album and I was very, very surprised. But this song, to me, just wins slightly. So that's my little fun video, Who Wins, The King or The Queen? Uh, the husband or the wife and in this case it's the wife but watch the Robert Toya show every Sunday it's really good fun um, he's great fun as well Toya's complete mad woman she's really hilarious but um, that's me for now and I hope to have another video quite soon all the best now bye bye